In this video guide, I'll show you how to set up Audacity for recording your podcasts. Let's get started. From the Edit menu, select Preferences. You can also press Ctrl P to bring up the Preferences dialog box. The first thing you need to do is set up your audio device. Click on the Audio I.O. tab if it's not already selected. This screen allows you to configure what device to use for playing back your audio clip and also the device for recording. Let's go ahead and click the drop down for the playback device. Usually you'll see two or more devices here. The Microsoft Sound Mapper is normally selected as the default device. However, I have a Sigmatel sound card in my Dell laptop, so I'll go ahead and select that. You will also see a device specific to your sound card, so go ahead and select that one. Likewise, let's go ahead and select the same device for recording. The channel option allows you to record in mono or stereo. The mono option will record your sound in one channel, while the stereo option will record the sound in both the left and the right channels. This means the same sound will be duplicated in the left speaker and the right speaker during playback. Since podcasts are mainly voice with maybe a little bit of background music, we recommend the mono option. Another reason we use mono is that the final MP3 files will be smaller, which means your listeners will be able to download your podcasts a lot faster. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the next option, which is play other tracks while recording new one. Checking this option means that in a multi-track project, when you start recording, you'll hear all the other tracks during the recording phase. I usually find this distracting and therefore I usually leave this option unchecked. Make sure the last software playthrough option is unchecked you'll most likely not need this feature for podcasting. Alright, let's move on to the Quality tab. These options are all the various settings for audio quality. Luckily, we don't need to change any of these settings, so let's move on to the next tab. In the File Format tab, click the Make a Copy of the File Before Editing option. This is a safe option to choose when you import audio clips into your projects. Audacity will make a copy of the original clip and make all modifications on the copy, leaving the original intact. We highly recommend this option. In the uncompressed export format, make sure you select the WAVE, which is Microsoft 16-bit PCM option. This just means that when you select the File Export as WAVE option, the audio clip will be saved in this specific WAVE format. Remember not to confuse this with the final format of our podcasts, will be, which will be in MP3 format. The MP3 export setup option is very important. This must be configured correctly before we can create our final podcast MP3 file. Before you can set up this option, you'll need the lame DLL file. Just in case you're curious, lame is what's known as an audio codec which is a small software program that allows Audacity to create MP3 files. If you haven't already downloaded the LIM codec, then just go to the Audacity website and download it. Once downloaded, unzip only the LIM underscore ENC dot DLL file into the same directory as your Audacity installation. You don't need any other files from the LIM zip package. Now we need to point Audacity to this lame file. Click the Find Library button. A dialog will pop explaining why you need the lame codec. Just click Yes, then locate the lame underscore ENC dot DLL file. Once located, click Open. The only other option you may want to change is in the Directories tab, so let's go there. The temp directory or folder is what Audacity will use to keep track of any temporary files it may need to create during a session. If the free space indicates a few gigabytes of hard drive space, then you can safely leave this setting alone. 
if the amount of free space is low, typically under a gigabyte, then you may want to point to another drive which has more space. Since I have enough space on my C drive, I'll leave this option alone. The rest of the tabs are not critical, so we'll click OK to exit the dialog box. Before we finish, let's do a small test recording just to make sure we have configured correctly. Make sure you have your microphone plugged into your computer. To start recording, click the record button and say a few words. Welcome to the wonderful world of podcasting. Now let's click the play button to see if the recording is OK. Welcome to the wonderful world of podcasting. Well, that's about it. This brings us to the end of our presentation.